Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen and I'm here with a lovely patient of mine, Karen, who's given me permission to talk to you today about some of the things that she's been experiencing in our office. So Karen, can you just start with telling us a little bit about what you were dealing with before you came into the office? Um, before I came into the office, I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism and um, that was it. They were treating me for that, which they gave me a pill, um, Synthroid, and I took that every day, I think for about five years. And even though I complained of different symptoms, they told me that it was kind of all in my head. So, that's so what I, what were some of those symptoms? Then? Um, I was tired. Um, I had stomach cramps a lot. Um, didn't have any energy. Um, that were th those were my main concerns. Any brain concern? Cognitive changes? Focus? I couldn't focus, and I I had trouble thinking. Oh, I was at right. my jobs. I was kind of flow and right. wouldn't remember things. Um, and um, they told me that it was all in my head. Right. So I, I knew it wasn't, but I didn't know where to go. Okay, so you're searching for other other solutions. Yes. And then how did you first hear about us? In our I office? came to a, a workshop right. okay. where you did... Um, Talked about thyroid and yes, got into I it a little remember. bit. Right. Yes. <laughs> okay, and then we started from there, and you started to see us since January. Yes. And so since January, now we're in August, so we've had seven months. And not to that we see you all the time, we did it more of a metabolic approach where we're reviewing your blood work, um, we did some saliva samples, we did some food sensitivity testing. And, um, and then we put you on a detox and a cleanse, and now we're reassessing where you're at. And so tell me a little bit about that. Where are you now since you started working with us? Um, I know I'm not perfect. Uh, I feel about 80% better. I have energy to be with my kids, to work. I, I'm still foggy in the brain. Um, I have given up you know, my sensitivities, gluten, um, for quite a while. I don't have headaches anymore. I don't have um, my stomach aches. Um, I sleeping. How are you sleeping? A lot better. Awesome. I sleep through the night most most nights. Well, that's great. Um, yeah. I wake up early and refreshed, and not I don't need a nap during the day. Right. I go to bed at 10, 11. I get I probably could get a little more, but I, I wake up fine. I'm not tired. Um, I feel good. Right. And so, and one of the things I want to say is that what did the doctors tell you before? They just said that it was hypothyroid and that it was in your head. Yes, I was given prescriptions for antidepressants um, because I cried a lot, because I had anxieties. They told me that um, I had all sorts of things. I had all kinds of tests. I had colonoscopy, endoscopy, brain, brain tests, things like that. Um, and then when I came to you, you told me that I have um, Hashimoto's. Right. That was the first time I'd even heard of it. Right, so. right. That's, and that's a really important point because first of all, they've done all these tests with you and at the end of the day, they just told you that you're hypothyroid and nothing's wrong no. and that you must be crazy if they can't find the results. And one of the things that's really important to note is you saw me January 2015 and you had blood results from, I think, you know, April 2014. And one of the things that leaped off the pages was the fact that your thyroid antibodies were 1,800 <laughs> and 1,600, something like that. Yes. And, and so just for those that don't know, anything above 34 or 1 for those two types of antibodies are considered positive. So you had 1,800. So that's huge. And for you to not even know that, that's a huge problem, obviously. Um, but we did blood tests again um, in May and we found out that of this year, and we found out that those antibodies went from 1,800 to 200. And so that's awesome. Yes. Um, however, um, it's still, like you said, you're not 100%, you're 80% better, not 100% out of the woods, and that comes down to now continuing to tinker and figure out what the next solution is. Um, but it's just shame because you were never told exactly you know what your problems were right. and, and what was going on and we've cleaned up the diet um, we've cleaned the gut not that your diet was bad before but we removed the specific foods yeah. that we determined you were re reacting to and then we did some supplements to help support the adrenal glands and, and we doubled I think we almost well, we got a really good um, increase in your total cortisol levels mm -hmm. from one test to the next test so everything's doing doing great and now we're on to our next phase and that's how we've incorporated our genetic reports into there 
and, and giving you some support that way so that you can make energy better, you can detoxify better. Um, what would you say to anyone who is skeptical or of, of my office in general or functional, functional medicine specifically? Because a lot of pa pa patients that I see that don't begin with us or inquire with us, um, they have some skepticism. So what would you say your skepticisms are or were? Or those, for those that um, are, that yeah, I didn't have skepticism. I was, I've been looking for something, and when I found you, I knew immediately I was in the right place. For those who are skeptical, I would say give it a try. Um, I mean, there's, there's nothing you can lose, except you know those years. Right. Um, the other thing you said too was you had to be ready. You know, some people aren't ready some to Some people want to take medicine, but right. every time you take the medicine, it makes you kind of that much worse. It's right. like a domino effect. And right. You have to take more to keep feeling better and more and more. I don't take medicine, so I knew that that's not the route I wanted to go. Um, I, I think don't wait till you get to the point where you feel as horrible as I did. Right. I, I think, you know, give it a try, do a little research before. Um, is it I think it's the worth thing I've done. It's worth it. It's worth it. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. it's 100 times worth it. Yeah, and I think your attitude goes a long way into explaining why you did so well because you, you realize that if you have Hashimoto's, you have an autoimmunity, then you have a lot of things that are going wrong or in the body that one pill is not going to fix. Mm -hmm. And so you were receptive to that, and, and, and that's really what made the difference, I think. So thank you so much for doing that. Thank you and for everything. I, I appreciate it.